Welcome to the channel. We're gonna do something a little different in this demo. This is the Frost Giant Little Acid Fuzz. Now in this version he added a mids knob, so it's very versatile. You can really get like that sputtery, almost tone bendery thing. When you crank up the mids knob, you also get a volume and you get a tone bypass when you're in the up. Tone stack is on when it's down. Tone knob is a trim pot inside. So the, re <laughs> the reason we're standing up is man, this pedal is too damn good just to be sitting down and do a demo. So we're gonna do it with this into the Marshall Origin, and we're also going to do it in the Laney AOR. So we're going to start with the Origin, then go to the AOR. I have these amps set kind of similar, kind of dark. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be using the LTD with Dragonauts and C Sharp Standard because IOMI. Now for the cab IR, we're using greenbacks. Now this is the Marshall Origin by itself. Presence is pretty low, trebles up a little high, mids are all the way up, bass is going up, the tilt is all the way to the bass end. Little acid. We're going to back off the uh, volume knob on the guitar a little bit. Going to the uh, going to the neck pickup. Back to the bridge. Now we have the tone knob engaged in the pedal. The volume of the pedal is all the way up. That's why there's so much noise. And the mids are all the way up. Let's roll the mids up. When you back up the volume knob with the mids up like that, you can kind of, like I said, get that Valkyrie kind of sputtery, tone bendery type thing. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna to switch to the AOR. Okay, so in this example, we have the Laney set the way Windhead would set theirs. Let me go ahead and give you a sound of that. I'll try to put on the screen what the settings are. So real close to how I had the AR, just maybe a little bit more darker. Go ahead and turn the pedal on now. We have the mids all the way off again. Since we're talking about wind hand, let's just do it. Now we're gonna go to the mid setting. Now we have the mids up a little bit, about halfway, up three quarter rather. Roll the volume knob down a little bit on the guitar. So you can really clean it all the way up. Last thing I want to do is we're going to do the clean channel on the uh, AOR. Now, I know up to this point we've been boosting these other two amp, well, these two amps with it, but the AOR clean channel with this pedal is just... Let's see if we can back the mids off, get back to the stock setting. Neck pickup. I'm just gonna say it. Um, that is my preferred way to use this pedal. As a boost, it is cool. It is very cool as a boost. But on a clean channel like this, a dark clean channel, <laughs> that tone, Hopefully I had time to make a little recording. 
I want to do it with the clean tone setting as well as the boosted setting. Blend them together uh, in a track, but as far as using this pedal, clean channel all day long on that. Now I gotta figure out how to set the origin to that because I want that sound out of that amp. I hope you guys dug this video. Like, subscribe, and so yeah, a big thank you to Frost Giant, Eric from Frost Giant for uh, sending this out to me, letting me check this out. It is a killer muff pedal. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it with the internal tone knob, with the mids knob, uh, the tone bypass switch. If you like the old school vintage little big muff, then that's what this is. If you like the wind hand guitar tone, that's what this does. If you like even Uncle Acid, it gets a little un Uncle Acid-y some. See you guys in the next video.